theater you were watching was made by Shakespeare, and here we have a fake illustration of their corpses lying in a bed with all the things that characterize the story of their love. The knife, the poison, and the rose symbolizing their eternal love. Art created by humans is what I desire to analyze. Truly a sad story. Take a look at this tree. It's much easier to determine the red apples fall from the tree using natural science. You just calculate how long it fell, the weight of it, the speed, and so on. It's much more difficult using human science because then you have to find out the meaning of why the apple fell. You have to look at it in a different aspect. The whole tree with the apple as well as the smaller parts. If you only look at the tree and ignore the small parts, it will be nothing more than just a tree. Only when you look at the small parts of the tree, you will be able to see the apples and see that the regular tree actually is an apple tree. Here we have Boy from ours. If you only take a look at his front side, it will only look like a scared boy crouching. But if you take a closer look at his mouth, you will realize that he has a little smile on his face. As you can see in this painting. Are you ready to continue our discussion? No. Yes, of course. Could you explain your point of view to me once again? Because I did not understand it. I believe that the philosophy help, helps people to understand art. I don't agree. I think that philosophers and any other citizens share the same understanding and background, and you can't determine cultural and social conditions just like that. I still disagree on your dogmatic thoughts. Let's continue this discussion later. My goal is to have people understand that science is not only seen from an objective point of view, that science can be seen through subjective eyes and that hermeneutics is made by those principles. I will keep trying to make people understand hermeneutics as a science. Thanks for watching the movie and I hope to see you again soon.